This 38-year-old wannabe DJ claims she was targeted and humiliated after she was asked to cover up her... These things. Yep, Lisa boarded a flight wearing a very thin t-shirt, no bra, and these stupid fucking glasses. <laughs> okay, after the Delta flight staff saw her and multiple parents apparently complained, the staff escorted this woman back onto the gangway and reprimanded her for her attire which I describe as no wonder you're 40 in single attire, but they describe as revealing an offensive attire. I'm just matching myself as a flight attendant right now. <laughs> that would work about as well as Jada Pinkett Smith being a wife. So after the brawlest 40-year-old wannabe DJ was reprimanded by the flight staff, she was apparently told she'd be allowed to stay on the flight if she just put her jacket back on, which she apparently took off right before boarding because it was warmer than expected. The Live Laugh Love wannabe John Lennon 40-year-old brawlist DJ then responded by asking the flight staff, Why is this everyone's go-to in 2024 anyways? She asked if the airline employees were singling her out because she was queer. SHOCKER! The Delta staff responded by saying, no, it's because you're 40. <laughs> they didn't actually say that, but I would have. After what was apparently a very long discussion, the Live, Laugh, Love wannabe John Lennon 40-year-old brawless DJ, who was also queer, agreed to put her jacket back on for the hour and a half flight to avoid being kicked off the plane. After the flight, she confronted a male staff member to express her disappointment over her perceived discrimination. To which the staff member replied, our official policy on Delta Airlines is that a woman must cover up. Or that women must cover up. Yeah, whatever. Which apparently disgusted the 40-year-old DJ. So much so that she wrote this tweet. At Delta, I was extracted from a Delta flight for not wearing a bra. The gate attendant waited until everyone was seated, then asked to speak to me privately and escorted me off the plane like a criminal. <sighs> These people are so dramatic. I was told the official policy of Delta is that women must cover up. The airline has since apologized to the DJ, but is not admitted to any wrongdoing. Which, I mean, you can take one look at this lady and know that that would not be sufficient for her. <laughs> this is clearly someone who sees herself as a horribly victimized person, but also somehow has the mindset of an entitled 13-year-old only child. She has hired an attorney to go after the evil people at Delta that asked her to put on a jacket, and is demanding a change in company policy. How funny is it that this is the stuff that people are so outraged by now? I <laughs> mean, wow. The self-employed DJ told reporters, It felt like a scarlet letter was being attached to me. I felt it was a spectacle aimed at punishing me for not being a woman in the way that she thought I should be a woman as she scolded me outside the plane. Oh my god. No! You dressed a specific way that you know will always attract attention. And you know that type of look will always attract attention because half of your shtick as a DJ is dressing outrageously with the hope that it will boost your career as a DJ. You dress that way because you know it attracts attention. God. So stop claiming that you're so victimized and the world just slapped a scarlet letter to your chest for no reason. Dress like a fatherless 16 year old in your little clubs while you're DJing, but put on some fucking clothes when you're getting on a plane with families and normal people that aren't trying to be stripper DJs in their 40s. And also, the flight attendant is not punishing you for not being a woman in the way she thought you should be a woman. She's probably just a lot classier than you are and figured if you want to dress like an angsty 15 year old, then she was going to treat you like one. Her attorney is demanding a meeting with the airline president to discuss the discriminatory policy, claiming male passengers are not required to cover up their t-shirts with a shirt or jacket. They also do not have to wear a bra to board or remain on a plane, and women should not have to wear one either. Last I checked, the Taliban are not in charge of Delta. <laughs> Jesus. People like this are so exhausting. Radical people are always calling people they don't agree with such extreme things. Communist, pedophiles, fascist, Taliban members. Just because you were asked to cover up something that is very sexually arousing for men on a flight full of families and kids does not mean you're under the rule of the Taliban. Now look, I personally do not have a problem with women not wearing bras. I've dated a few women that always had them showing. And every single one of them almost had my ass begging for therapy, but... I don't have an issue with it. I wouldn't marry a girl that dresses that way, but I would definitely party with you for a night. But around kids, around families, around old men that could suffer cardiac arrest if they get too excited, come on.
Also, you gotta stop comparing clothing for men and women. Different clothes work for different sexes. If I got on a plane with no underwear, wearing yoga pants, and my 12-incher was making an appearance, I bet parents would complain about that too. I bet I'd be asked to cover up as well. And for everyone that says, women's nipples aren't sexual, I know your sex life sucks.